Welcome Afukas. Okay, so we are going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that you might need help with. Okay, using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards, the Muse Tarot, and Shadow Healing, which are super cool. So we'll do that at the end, so make sure you stick around for these because these are really neat. Okay. Anticipation of the nation. Very strong feeling that I'm feeling is anticipation. Two cards here for you, if you kiss, that have jumped out. Let us have a look at what. Oh, this is interesting. I have not have had this one out before. It is a develop stronger concentration. Hmm. Through meditation, I feel. Um, and I also just wonder if what would help you, if you could, is to do a candlelight meditation. So getting a candle, placing it directly in front of you and focusing on the flame. Okay, and when your mind drifts off, that's okay. Just bring it back in um, and sort of let any thoughts just float by. The flame is your main focus, okay? You might only last 30 seconds, a minute, but build on it, okay? Um, yeah. I actually feel like by doing this, if you kiss, this is going to allow you to connect stronger with your guides, okay? And bring through the... And, Oh, that's the wrong way of putting it. I wanted to say bring through the internal wisdom that you hold inside, but it's already there. I guess it's more about you tapping into it and learning to hear it, okay? Um, yeah, but tell me more about develop stronger con concentration for a focus. Uh, just reading these words around this main ring here. And it says purification. What's the other one? Transmutation. Hmm. So this could be actually, I feel, for you to purify your mind, okay, and transmute your thoughts, okay, especially the unhelpful ones. Okay, so the cards supporting develop stronger concentration my words are not working for me today, is death. Death. <laughs> Whoops, the daisies. Um, yeah, see, look at this. This is this um, letting go of things that are no longer serving you. This moth is, it's like, look at this. This person's head is broken open and this moth is flying out. It's like there's been... <clears throat> Um, I, I just kind of wonder if you've been holding on to some beliefs for so long maybe that they're no longer serving you and you need to let them go, okay, because these cobwebs are here, these are old stinking thoughts that do not serve you um, and it's as though they have kept you bound and, um, and stopped you from being yourself realistically. Uh, I feel for some of you, if you kiss, there's such a um, fear of what other people think. And uh, this this concentration or, the, you know, this developing concentration, it doesn't have to be with the candle. You can have a look on YouTube for any meditations or any exercises that will help with this for you. Okay, but by doing this, this is going to help you become more solid in your own um, belief system that it's going to get to a point where it doesn't matter what other people think, okay? Um, unless you want it to matter, unless, say, you ask someone for their opinion and you choose to take that on board. This is where you want to get to, okay? Because we are far too ruled by our minds now and our egos. This is the, That is not the purpose for them. It is the heart we want to rule us, okay? Because this is the truth and this leads us in the right direction. Every time we listen to our heart, it does not steer us wrong, okay? So it's a matter of learning to tap into this and by doing to do that, 
we need to silence our mind a lot more, okay, and focus on what it is that we are feeling. And when you do the candle work, and I'm just talking about candle work, um, but whatever exercise you choose to do, be aware of your feelings, be aware of what's going on inside of you, okay, really start tuning in um, to your body and what it is telling you. All right, we have the seven of materials here, and I feel as though there's potentially for some of you, there's a lot of choices that you have um, and, and it could be very difficult for you to decide. So this clearing of your mind and this concentration will allow you to clearly see which is the best choice for you. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, we also have explore your ancestry that jumped out here as well. Okay, and I'm feeling like with this belief system, this could be something that has been passed down through generations, okay? So it's very important for you right now in this part of the journey of your life to look at what is serving you and what is no longer. Really question why it is that you're doing things and what purpose it serves for you because if you look at this here, I feel like this person here is a ballerina, well, She's got ballet shoes on, right? And she's in this pose here. Um, but she also has chains here. And it's like she's just doing what she's doing because it is expected of her. There's, um, But see down here, she doesn't have the ballet shoe. The ribbons are still tied around her leg, but there is no ballet shoe because she wants to try something different. Okay, but it's sort of like being held in this um, expectation of, you know, this is what you should be doing, okay, instead of what would you like to do, okay, um, I feel like there's an opportunity for you to move forward and move away from whatever it is that is holding you where you are, okay, part of it, if you guess, is that you need to release your mind from this okay what are people going to think what are they going to say um i can't do that you know all this sort of stuff imposter syndrome um you know not believing that you have the ability or um that oh, i'm not going to try that because you know who am i to think that i can do that you know that sort of um thinking okay we have the the full i love this let me just two other cards falling out so I'm not going to take those but I am going to look at the full for a minute here okay this is you stepping in to a whole new world into new pastures okay um I do feel like actually for you that you need to be aware of your surroundings okay because there are easier ways to do things Okay, and I feel as though some of you are walking a little bit blindly um, and maybe this is where this um, allowing this control to happen comes in because you may not be sure is the next step or what's to come, okay? But if you actually... If you rely upon your guidance system, okay... You will find if you you will find that you will be given the direction to go in through what you feel, okay? Because this person here is walking this way, all right, and they they're wanting to access this realm here, okay? But the thing is that the the way to access it is actually by going down this ladder here, okay? But they're just walking forward without even being aware or, or looking around and considering different options okay and this could be what the seven of materials is about consider other options okay so um really feel out what's going to work and what's not for you okay I, I feel like there's a great reliance on other people to bring that information to you and you really don't need to if you kiss because you have it within you okay and gosh it really is time to start believing in yourself okay and that you do actually have that okay so let's have a look one more for explore your ancestry here we go seven of emotions now wow okay 
all, all up in the house with the sevens. We've got an ending and a new beginning here. You know, we've got these choices that you could make. We've got this... Um, There's this internal battle as well with these decisions. Not sure of which way to go. Not sure what to choose. Okay, and this is where this concentration is absolutely crucial for you. Right? Um, for some of you, I actually feel like you feel like there's nowhere else to go. You don't see, um, it, it's sort of like it feels like the end of the path, but in fact it's not. Okay, um, I feel like you're looking at the wrong thing or you're looking in the wrong place. Or oh, wrong's probably the wrong word. Um, but it's like you just haven't hit the nail on the head yet. Okay, so let's have a look. What else have we got for a few years here? Okay. Create boundaries. Hmm. Interesting. Create boundaries here. This is really important. If you want to lead the way for yourself, it is important for you to create boundaries, right? Um, so that other people can't... So that other people don't have the influence over you that they once did. Okay, now, here's the thing. It's going to take a bit for other people to adjust to these boundaries that you've created. We can't always create boundaries and just expect people to be okay with them, especially when we've allowed them to cross over all boundaries that we've ever tried to put in place. Okay, so just be mindful of that, that it will take people a little bit to adjust here. Um, and this creating boundaries is going to allow you to explore. Okay, it's going to allow you to explore your different options, your different choices. The only thing with that a few kiss is don't take too long over that okay because you may ha run the risk of ending up in a comfort zone of trying different things out and never actually moving forward with anything so the boundaries could also be for you to create a deadline to go okay I'm going to try this one out for two days then this and that and you know it's like trying on a different jacket to see how it fits oh yeah that's a, that's comfortable but it looks a little bit funny on me or you know it's, it's that kind of thing so you'll take it off you won't you won't buy it and wear it forever you're going to take it off and try another one on to see if this one fits better or you like it on you better right um so it's the same concept here okay it is trying different things on to see what works for you but tell me more about create boundaries for a few years, please. And when you are very clear on these boundaries, this will also allow you to be more confident with the direction that you're moving in. Okay, you'll, it's sort of like getting to know yourself so well that when other people try to cross these boundaries, it really isn't going to sit with you and you're going to be able to stand up for yourself, okay? Nine of emotions here. Yeah, this is going to lead you to this, look at this, this is, person is levitating with these crystals around them, right? This is a dream come true. Oh yeah, and we've got the little genie, um, why is that just gone out of my head? Cup, I want to say. Um, down here. The interesting thing about the Nine of Emotions is that I know that it can represent all dreams come true, but that's actually the Ten. So there's still more work to be done here, okay? The other thing is just be mindful about what you are wishing for. Um, because sometimes we can wish for certain things to happen and we can get it, but it doesn't quite look like how we imagined it to look like. So be very mindful of that, okay? We've got the forum materials here as well. Um, and this, I feel like, is stuckness for you, okay? It's like you want to get 
You want all your wishes to come true. You want to be able to rub the bottle, bottle, even though it's sort of a more of a jug. But anyway, you want to be able to rub the bottle and have a genie appear to grant your wishes. Okay, and yet there's things that you're holding back on. You feel stuck. You feel like it, it, it's sort of like, in a sense, for some of you, it's feeling like there's no way for you to move forward unless a blimmin' genie appears, right? Um, and this is where these options for you come into play, okay? Uh, because you can move forward and you can get to where you want to go. I feel like it's more of a change of mindset, okay? Coming out of this believing that you can't and knowing that you can. Okay, so let's have a look here. What else have we got? Recognize divine timing. Wow, this is fantastic. You know, when we're talking about this knowing, this is divine timing. You know, this is, this, yeah. This is something that absolutely, I know you've had experience with a few kids when you just know as opposed to wondering, oh, should I do it now? Should I do it now? As opposed, you know, and then it's like, oh, yeah, now is definitely the time, you know? So this is, this is where this developing the concentration, it, that is that sort of thing is go going to become clearer for you. I am really having trouble getting my words out today. I don't even know if half my sentences are stringing together to make sense. So I do apologize if they're not. But it's like, yeah, it's like there's this sort of tripping up along the way all the time, you know, and 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 it's not being clear. Um, and I'm just noticing here that this person is first of all walking with a blindfold, but walking with confidence. You see. This person is trusting their inner guidance system. They don't need the blindfold off to see where they're going. They know. They know where they're going and they know exactly where they're going to. Okay. I'm drawn also to the ship on the head here. Okay, I just kind of have to share what I'm getting, but I'm not quite sure what it might what it what it means. I feel like, you know, there's the sense of not being in your natural habitat, okay? Because a ship is normally in water, not on top of someone's head. Um so that's the first thing. Um I'm wondering, especially with the clouds in the background here, I'm wondering if this actually represents your thoughts. Okay, um, because the ship is usually in the water, water represents emotions. So, it could be a focus for some of you that your emotions are what guide you. Your emotions are what telling is telling you what thoughts are going on in your mind and this is what you actually need to listen to here, okay? Um so that you can pick up when the right time is, okay? So tell me more about recognize divine timing, please. Yeah, listening to that emotional guidance system. Definitely. Recognize divine timing for a few kiss, please. Tell me more about this. Here we go. So first card here is the Ten of Inspiration. I love this. I love it. Look at this. See, all these buffalo. This is super interesting. Because at first, when I first saw it, it looked like the buffalo were carrying the water pots. But I don't know if they are. But the buffalo will lead the person to water to collect the, to fill up the water pots, right? And she knows this. She knows this. 
the the buffalo each have a water pot so she knows that oh yeah okay that's where what I need to do and this is the direction that I need to go in and this is the path I need to follow there's no doubt about it in her mind all everything is lining up everything is in alignment all the signs are clear okay and there is no doubt about it within her okay and the the buffalo also know the exact time to go searching for that water because they know when the rains are coming they know how nature works right and so this is um this is this This is this um, thing that you have within you. I'm trying to find the right words. I know thing is not the right word, but I'm searching for it. There is something within you, if you curse, that is an, an it's, it's like a compass. It's like um, not just a compass. There's something very special inside of you that directs you, okay? And... Um, you hold this ability to lead the way or to know which direction to go in or know which signs to look for, okay, or even recognize the signs. I feel as though, again, this concentration is going to help you with that. We also have the six of emotions here, okay, and this here is for some of you if you guess it's like you long for the fun times that you once had or the playfulness that was once within you it's sort of like you sit there remembering this um and wonder where it went to but the fact of the matter is it is still inside of you and is still part of you I'm wondering if this is what you're in search of. For some of you, it may very well be. You're on a journey to find a part of you that you feel you lost. But the fact of the matter is it is still there. It is about you allowing it through. Okay? I don't feel you need to search for it per se. I feel like it's a matter of you clearing away the cobwebs and all the things that don't serve you in order for that to come through, okay? <clears throat> and maybe it's this passion that you once um, had inside of you, you know? And what's happened over time maybe is that things have got in the way, life has got in the way, certain emotions have got in the way and buried this. Um, and you feel like you've lost it, but in fact you haven't. It is still there. Step in to the unknown. Yeah, and this may have very well been a bit of a safety net for you to, you know, maybe once upon a time you promised yourself that you would not you would only go into things that you were sure of and you knew what was coming. And right now it is about you having faith. Yeah, because we've got the full card and step into the unknown here. Again, I feel like there's the sense of feeling frozen. It's like this new beginning is, is here, uh, ready for the taking, and you're frozen. Because you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know which direction to go in. I don't know what to choose. Okay, and it's it's scary. <sighs> and this is, this is where this trust of yourself is absolutely necessary okay um because yeah some of you it's sometimes it's not about actually trusting other people if you guess it's about trusting yourself right this can be the biggest thing because once you trust yourself it doesn't really matter what goes on with other people because you know yourself well enough and know what you're about that you can carry yourself and have your own back regardless of what happens, okay? Um, we have a, the three of inspiration here. And <clears throat> I love this. I love this. There's some sort of domino effect going on here. Whatever it is that you do right now, whatever path you take is going to have a domino effect. 
and it's going to have a positive dom domino effect, okay? This is going to affect, that it, it's not going to just impact you right now, it's going to have an effect on your past and what has happened there and your future, the path. You know, because if you look at these dominoes here, these ones have all been done, okay? And, and, and here's the crossroad here. Here's the option, okay? This is you walking through this, okay? These ones have started to fall here. This is all done, okay? But these ones still stand. And um, this also, I feel like, is something about breaking a cycle. Breaking a cycle, whether this is a family, um, a habit, or anything that is no longer serving you, this is also, I feel getting this really strongly actually about breaking a cycle okay we also have the two of emotions here so this is coming together with like-minded people yes but I feel more like-hearted people because you can have you can have people who think the same as you but they may not have the same heart as you. And so it's the heart. If you're leading from the heart and you're living from the heart, it is the heart that matters. So this is where you want to be in touch with people who are like-hearted. Okay. Um, could also be a coming together in a relationship as well. Okay, there may have been a break in a relationship and now it's either a new relationship or the renewing of a relationship doesn't mean that you know you have to get back with an abusive ex or anything like that not at all but it could be that you're in an existing relationship and there's a renewal of that okay and and a bit more like that sort of sparking the fire up again you know so yeah anyway let's have a look last card here for fucus okay It's a no. Whatever, whatever you have been. Okay, hang on. Let me just get the feeling for this first. Because I don't know if it's about it's a no. The energy that's jumping out to me here is this person sitting here feeling like, feeling stuck. Okay, feeling stuck. And it may very well feel like every option that you have is a no. Okay, this could be a bit of confusion here. Um, <clears throat> there's been some sort of planning going on for a particular direction, and I just wonder if this is not the direction that you're meant to go in. Okay, you'll know what this pertains to if you've been asking a particular question and you've been doubting it or not too sure. Honestly, you know, personally, if I ever have a doubt about something, then to me, it's like, yeah, I don't think so. Because if it was meant to be, it would be a 100% yes. There would be no question. There would be no doubts. There wouldn't, I wouldn't even be, you know, pondering that. Right, um, so if that's the case for you, really look at why there's this hesitation and this questioning of, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Really look at that, okay, if you kiss. Too many cards there, but we've had this one jump out, and this is the eight of inspiration. Yeah, it's a no, okay, so when you get your yes, you're going to move forward at speed the speed of lightning okay there's going to be no doubt and everything is going to come into focus a lot clearer you're not going to lose sight of the direction that you're going in okay and this person has lost sight it's like they've just managed to climb up on up on this um and they don't know where else to go and they're trying to work out gosh how do i get to where i need to go okay because it's actually the wrong direction that they were going in so once you know you know okay one more card for it's a no for a few kiss please one more card for it's a no one more card too many cards <laughs> oh Okay, one more card for a few kiss. So it's a no. Here we go. Three of materials. 
okay yeah getting your friends together and putting your heads together to work it out together you don't have to do this alone this is the whole thing right you do not have to do this alone and some of you may feel very alone on this journey okay you can you can brainstorm with other people all right and get their point on on things and and sort of like you know how when you verbalize things suddenly everything's a lot clearer even though you've been going it over it in your mind for the last 10 days or whatever you know so that could very well help you okay and they may have other ideas or other perspectives that will um that you hadn't considered before okay and this is not saying that these are people who are telling you what to do and these are people who will support you in whatever it is you choose big difference there and you know the difference between those people in your life as well. Okay, so let's get three cards from the Shadow Healing deck. Okay, so three cards for a few kiss, please. Three cards for a few kiss. Three. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so we have deception, we have overwhelmed, and we have discontentment. Well, that reminds me of it's an O. Anyway, let me read these to you. Deception. Deception can have long-term effects on a person's soul. However, we need to be more careful about those we place our trust in. Not everyone deserves this respect. A hundred percent. So true, right? Overwhelmed. Sharing responsibilities is not a weakness of character. In fact, it demonstrates an ability to trust in others and allows them the opportunity to participate. Okay, so interesting, eh? Two contrasting cards, but this is what I was saying before. There are those who you know who have your best interests in mind and those who don't, okay? So that's fantastic. So there are people you can trust and there are people who mm, maybe don't. <laughs> so yeah, okay, discontentment. Something doesn't feel right, but identifying what miss, what's missing eludes you. Re-examine the situation from a distance and missing pieces will become obvious. I love this. I love this, Fugas. You know, especially with this one here, there's a missing domino here. And this one here, it's like, where's the rest of the path to place the flowers? You know, so this is fantastic. Okay, Fugas, I hope that helps you. So yes, good luck over the next two weeks and take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.